کل انٹرنیشنل ویمنس ڈے ہے جس کی وجہ سے پوری دنیا میں جہاں بھی عورتیں سفر کر رہی ہیں چاہے وہ غربت کی وجہ سے چاہے وہ جنگ کی وجہ سے اور بیکاز آف وار ان مینی پارٹس آف دا ورلڈ اور اسپیشلی کشمیر کے اندر جہاں پہ عورتوں کو ریپ کیا گیا عورتیں جو ہیں وہ فوج کی وجہ سے سفر کرتی ہیں عورتیں غربت کی وجہ سے سفر کرتی ہیں جہاں بھی جنگ ہو جہاں بھی فساد ہو جہاں بھی اپریشن ہو سب سے زیادہ عورتیں سفر کرتی ہیں بچے سفر کرتے ہیں اس دن پہ ہمیں یاد کرنا چاہیے کہ وہ عورتیں جو لاکھوں کی تعداد نہیں بلکہ وہ کروڑ سے زیادہ آبادی میں سے آدھی آبادی جو ہے وہ عورتوں کی ہے وہ سفر کر رہی ہیں کشمیریوں کو اگر رائٹ آف سیلف ڈٹرمنیشن دیا جائے اور ہندوستان کی فوج کشمیر سے اگر نکل جائے تو ان عورتوں کی زندگیاں بہتر ہو سکتی ہیں اس دن پہ ہاؤس آف پارلیمنٹ میں ہاؤس آف لارڈ ہاؤس آف کامنس میں جو ہمارے کالیگز یہاں پہ تشریف لائے ہیں ان کی کمٹمنٹ ہے کہ عورتیں جہاں بھی سفر کرتی ہوں دنیا بھر میں چاہے وہ افریقہ میں ہوں چاہے وہ ساؤتھ ایشیا میں ہوں اور پرٹیکولرلی کشمیر کے اندر جو عورتیں سفر کرتی ہیں ان کو ہم سپورٹ کرتے ہیں ہماری سالیڈیرٹی ان کے ساتھ ہے ہم چاہتے ہیں کہ کشمیر کی آزادی ہو تاکہ وہ لوگ اپنی زندگیاں اپنے من کے مطابق اپنے دل کے مطابق وہ اپنی زندگیاں بسر کر سکے میں جموں کشمیر آ کے خدا رادیت کی طرف سے آئی کین تھینک فل ٹو لارڈ احمد چیئرمین آل پارٹیز کشمیر پارلیمنٹری گروپ اینڈ ڈیبی ابراہم ممبر آف پارلیمنٹ فرام اولڈم ممبر آف پارلیمنٹ اینڈریو اسٹیفنسن ممبر آف پارلیمنٹ تھری فور ادر ممبرز آف پارلیمنٹ وہ کیم اینڈ شوڈ سالوڈارٹی پال بلم فیلڈ لنڈا ریڈن جان ایمنگ اینڈ دیر آر کوائٹ فیو ایم پیز ہو آر کمنگ ٹو do the solidarity with the Kashmiri women who are suffering and we want to remind this day uh, to the international community that people of Jammu and Kashmir, especially women of Jammu and Kashmir are still suffering. People are celebrating the International Women Day tomorrow all over the world. But we are the people who are suffering at the ground um, with, by the occupied forces, by India, Indian forces. So we want to request everybody to support us for our right of self-determination, which has been promised with us uh, in 1948-49 and up till now, 15 million Kashmiris are fighting for that and our campaign will carry on until we achieve this goal uh, for the right of self-determination for people of Jammu and Kashmir. Can I welcome uh, Member of Parliament Shibana Mahmood uh, and uh, on our platform. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we uh, were just j discussing about a solidarity with the Kashmiri women on this day because International Women Day is tomorrow. Unfortunately, we can't have a meeting tomorrow in Parliament because Thursday all the parliamentarians go home. <laughs> so that's why we, we, we organized today. So everybody has spoken. So it's your turn and then... Okay. I feel terrible uh, turning up and just speaking straight away, so sorry. <laughs> it always feels like, a bit like I'm jumping the key. But anyway, thank you very much uh, for that kind introduction. Um, uh, I'm sorry I'm running late today, but um, uh, I'm delighted, obviously, to be able to come and speak to you. I'm delighted that actually I've come to a Kashmir meeting and it's focused on women, because that almost never happens uh, in, my, in my experience, um, uh, both as a candidate and as a member of parliament, despite my best efforts, trying to get um, a discussion going about Kashmir and getting lots of women into the room uh, has... has proved a challenge. So I hope that this is something that can be a start point for getting more women uh, to our meetings uh, to raise awareness uh, of, of not just the issues, but actually just an opportunity for Kashmiri origin women uh, to get together and to network and share experience, which I think is, uh, is very important too. Uh, I don't know if uh, Yasmin's apologies have already been given, but um, uh, yeah, she, <laughs> she did ask me uh, to, uh, to give her apologies for not being able to come. Uh, I know she's been very active and coming yeah. to previous meetings, but an, another engagement has meant that she hasn't been able to join us. Um, I guess the headline message is, you know, the, uh, the struggle to continue to raise awareness of, uh, of uh, the issues in Kashmir continues. Um, it's something that um, I think uh, nobody uh, can do more on, actually, than Lord Nazir has been doing almost for the whole of his career. Um, so he's a real inspiration when it comes to fighting the corner of uh, Kashmiris and Kashmir origin people. Uh, both in this country, in Europe, and the rest of the world. Uh, and, uh, and I'm 
just somebody that kind of hangs out with him enough to to be able to join him uh, in his in his efforts. But actually, now that um, you know th this event's been held uh, in conjunction with International Women's Day, and I think moving the debate on and including the younger generation a bit more uh, and including women a bit more in the debate is a really important way, I think, for continuing to refresh. Um, our ideas and, and our campaign because the problem with a campaign that runs over a long period of time and is a long and historic struggle is that sometimes people lose interest, uh, less that they lose interest I suppose and they lose faith and they lose hope that there's an end point where there might be some success and uh, the Kashmiri people might get their, their right to self-determination and the opportunity to set their own, uh, their own future and, and to meet their own destiny on their own terms uh, and it is very easy to lose faith and lose hope and uh, sometimes the, the meetings we have can often be not just about raising awareness and trying to get a political solution, but actually to give each other encouragement uh, and, and support and, uh, and to recognize that progress is very slow, um, but each time you come together, each time you convince one further person of your cause, you've made some progress all the same. Uh, and I think there's an added value in that that sometimes we don't necessarily appreciate, but which we should do more to, to celebrate and, and to promote. And obviously, whatever I can do, as somebody who's Kashmiri origin myself, um, I'm very happy. Be very happy to do, and, and maybe we should use this as a, um, um, as a as a driver for getting more women involved in the campaign. Actually, because I know that there's some very active women, but the problem is when you've got five or six women, you know, that do everything, they end up, sh um, you know, shouldering the whole of the burden yes. almost. And I think we probably need to grow the the supporter base significantly to 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 drive it further further forward. But yeah, no, I'm very happy to obviously be here and, and do my bit. So we've got something planned in, uh, on 18th of March in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. uh, we will try our best. Uh, I have got a group of uh, ladies, I think one of uh, my young team at you as well, a mm -hmm. uh, few months back. Mm -hmm. And they are planning to hold something uh, in Birmingham. That would be great. Uh, There's also Rana Nazir and other... I know Rana so very many, well. Yeah. I know there Rana are very well. lots of women there. Uh, so they may be... They may do it together, well, yeah. you know, but that's why we will Why try you. Cup? Yeah. yeah, and we need some help from you, uh, from your office. If you have got any in contacts with ladies over there, we will be having this meeting. If you book in your diary, just uh, got uh, confirmation from John Hemming and Khaled's office uh, that uh, on 18th March, 18th 2 o'clock. And uh, well, we, we've got um, something taking place 16th of March in Bradford, 17th in Sheffield, and 18th and similarly okay, before great. the well, local elections. We want to do something. <laughs> Uh, and this group, uh, particularly in terms of what they're doing around International Women's Day. Uh, we know that across the world um, there are considerable disparities between the rights for women and the experience that women have to fulfil their potential uh, in whatever society that they live. So I'm absolutely delighted to be here with, with colleagues who share that view and um, that w women should have the rights uh, and opportunities um, of, of all people to, to reach their potential, uh, whether that's through universal education, um, through the opportunities through employment uh, and through healthcare as mothers uh, and, and so on. So I'm delighted to be here and to, to uh, as I say, show solidarity with, uh, with Kashmir in these endeavours. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.